Hello everyone, welcome to Java programming classes and in this video we will learn how to use the mathematical functions in Java programming. So let's start. So first we will see method types of methods. There are two types of methods. First is user defined method and the second is built in or library method. User defined methods are the methods which are developed by user. But built in or library methods are the methods which are developed by developers. Like in Java programming, if any method is built in or library method, so that those methods will be developed, uh, were developed by Java developers. Right? And today the functions which we are discussing, these are built in or we can say library methods. And these functions, these mathematical functions like uh, cube root, square root, power which we are going to use, these are defined in which class? Math class. And this class is defined in which package? Java.lang package. And java.lang package is a default package. So to use this math class, we will not import java.lang package because it is a default package. Fine. So directly in a program, we can use math.method name. Method name can be square root, cube root or power. So we will learn about these three methods today. So first is math dot square root square for square root we will use sqrt as this is a method so s will be small math is a class m will be capital right so what is the use of fun this function or method this function is used to find the square root of a positive number only positive number and it will return a double type value so it will always return a value of which type double type for example, how we, uh, you will write in a program double n equals to math dot square root of 4. So we have uh, written here 4. So but it will return 2.0. It will not return 2. And we will always assign into double type value, double type variable. So n will always be double type. If you take in this case int n, then it will show an error, incompatible type error, fine. So always we will assign the value in double type variable, any name, in this case n it is, fine. Similarly, square root of 6.25, output will be 2.5 and in this case square root of 4 is 2.0, double, not 2, fine. And if you take any negative number, in case of negative number, it will give an imaginary value and it will be uh, displayed by not a number, fine. Now the next is math dot cube root. So to find the cube root of a positive or a negative number. It will always return a value in double data type. Now math dot cube root of 27, 3.0, 15.625, 2.5 cube root, fine. And cube root, in cube root you can give the negative value. 3.375 it will not give not a number, it will return a value minus 1.5. Now the next is math dot power. For power we use POW. To find the power of a number, math dot power 2 raised to power 3. So you will write 2 mm, comma 3. The output will be 8.0. And if you are giving 2 comma minus 3, it will return the uh, whatever the output 1 by 8 uh, in decimal it will return. I think it is 0.125, fine. So let's see. So 
so first we will open the blue jay then we will create a class class i am taking here mathematical now in one class only we will see all these methods so i am using mathematical class so we will not import any class because by default uh, java.lang package is present here so this is a default package public static void main string args so first we will see the square root and how we will write double n equals to math dot square root sqrt first we will see square root of 4 then we will take another variable double n1 equals to math dot square root of let's take 6.25 then we will display it system dot out dot print ln square root of 4 equals to what is the variable n So for to display n1 here I will write square root of 6.25 and here n1 fine. So first we will see only square root results like see first we will compile it ok no syntax error then we will run it. Ok it is showing square root of 4 is 2.0 and square root of 6.25 is 2.5 fine. Now we will take values for cube root first we will make it comment only to see the cube root result ok now for cube root again we will take double n equals to ok negative number we have not checked let's check negative number also in case of square root here I am removing the comment In this only I am changing it and taking minus 4 instead of 4 I am taking square root of minus 4 let's see and this I am making comment fine now let's see what will be square root of negative number I am compiling it again no syntax error let's run it So it is showing square root of minus 4 equals to not a number n a n fine. Now we will see the cube root. Let's make comment fine. For cube root again we will take double n equals to 
math dot cube root cbrt 27 first value i am taking 27 then double n1 equals to math dot cbrt let's take cube root of negative value minus 3.375 Now let's display it. System dot out dot print ln cube root of twenty seven equals to n. find out the and let's display the cube root of 3.375 also cube root of minus 3.375 equals to n1 fine Let's compile it. Okay, no syntax error. Let's see the result. So it is showing cube root of twenty-seven, three point zero, and cube root of minus three point three seven five will be minus one point five. In case of cube root, it will show a show you a value, but in case of square root, it will give you not a number. Fine. Let's see power also. So again, I am making all these statements comment to see only result of power. So again, I am taking double n equals to for power we will use math dot p o w power two. Raised to power three, suppose so two comma three. One more double n one equals to math dot power two comma minus three. This is comma. Fine. Minus three. Let's display both. System dot out dot print. I am displaying without message. N N. Okay, next line I am showing you. N one. Let's see. Compile it. No syntax error. And run it. Okay, I have given. I think print. That's why it is showing in one line. Eight point zero zero and point one two five. Yes, by mistake here I have given the print. So if you give it uh, print ln, then it will show you in the next line. I hope it is clear. So today we have learned how to use these mathematical functions in Java. So that's it in this video. Let's see the result once. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much.